this point of the season. Some changes here for the Kings. Blake's checked in, and it's Williams in for Kevin Herter. The Kings shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. On the floor for Sacramento. Mitchell is out there with Williams. And it's Hartenstein in at the five spot. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Guys, I did have a chance to talk with the head coach of the Kings. He said he honestly doesn't know what to expect. This is the first meeting between these two teams this year. So there'll be some feeling out at the beginning. But he told me sometimes that's when we're at our best. And we're relying on our instincts and awareness at the offensive end. Kevin, we'll see if that holds true. Thanks for the report, D.A. Looking to get into a rhythm early, Greg, with their shooting. And I think to get into a good flow, you need to get everyone involved, even if it's as a facilitator. Yes, but in today's offensive league, that's a fantastic approach to have. Let's just see if they can walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Allen's checked in for Milwaukee. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Trailing by two. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it'll be the first of only two meetings between the teams. As a player, these ones are fun. You get to match up with guys you rarely see. And the layup is good. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. A three-pointer is right on target. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. The Kings trail by three. And Bruce Brown can play multiple positions, and that flexibility is so valuable today. It allows you to switch on defense. Brown played everything from the one to being a stretch four. That's helped Bruce. A second-round pick stick in this league. And, yes, it's good. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. He was all alone on that one. Blake's got six. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. It's Martin on the wing, guarded by Harris. MP looking around. A baseline J, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. The Kings trail by three. Williams kicks to Brown. Pass to Blake. The shot, no good. And Milwaukee the other way now. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Milwaukee's gone a meager 1 of 6 from three-point land since we got started tonight. Martin finds Allen. Back to Martin. Let's it go from the wing. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Milwaukee on top, up by one. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. Fans, here come your forward four through. Some good act. Shine. He's checked in for the Kings. Mac comes in for Davion Mitchell. Pass to Martin. From deep, Crane's the three-pointer. Martin's got the lead up to 10 now for Milwaukee. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholz's lineup. They've got Wanda Jacumbo, 
Portis is out there with Martin. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bochamp in at the two guard spot. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Then for the Kings, Harris is checked in for Murray. Brown comes in for Kevin Herter. And it's Williams in for De'Aaron Fox. Richard, so much of today's NBA defense is about covering the pick and roll. And as a player, is that something you enjoyed, taking on that challenge of covering the screen roll game? You only enjoy that challenge because you are a competitor and you want to win. Is it something that I'm doing on my own? Is it something that I'm doing in my spare time? Probably not. I can think of more fun things to do. Exactly. It is not, and there are so many variations, right, of the screen roll that you can defend it as many ways as you can run it. And these players are so talented that they can stop and pop from three. You have to guard them at the half court line before you could guard them at the three point line. Now you got to meet them at half court and their screens all over the place. It's miserable. Brown outside. The pass to Hartenstein. And it's sent back by Lopez. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the swat. Want to see more of this from the big fella. Martin with the bucket. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Off his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. Sacramento making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Murray. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. One fifteen left to play here in the second quarter. Passes it to Mack. Inside. And it's Murray with the jam. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Martin for three. And another three for Milwaukee. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Oh, up high and down hard <laughs> with that one-hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. This one for three. Basket number eight is all good. He has attempted 12 shots. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first half. Mack, the pass to Hartenstein. Mack, no luck. Milwaukee leading by 14. DiVincenzo finds Martin. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of the game. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Here's Williams. Goes back up. And that's two Williams. points on the layup. Williams has got his first bucket of the night. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. And so it's Milwaukee. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we'll be back with you shortly. with the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the... ...for Milwaukee. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Portis. And Martin subbed in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Mitchell, he's checked in for Sacramento. And here's
Coach Holiday, who will bring it up for the Bucks on the court for Sacramento. Hartenstein is out there with Murray. And it's Fox. And it's Mitchell. And it's Mack in at the three spot. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. And it's Murray with the jam. Pretty slick by Fox right there, giving it away to the guy who is ready to attack. Back in 2020, De'Aaron Fox signing a massive extension, Greg. Five years and $163 million. Yeah, and Kevin, every NBA hopeful wants that second contract. Credit to De'Aaron for working his tail off and earning every penny of that deal. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Mitchell against DiVincenzo. Six on the shot clock. Matt, no luck. Bucks leading by 18. And now running it up the court. Martin pushing it up. It's hauled in by the Kings. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Down low. And it's Murray with the jam. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his bounce. Here's Martin. Makes good on the step back jumper. Martin's got 29. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Puts it up. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Martin's got seven points here in this quarter. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. For Sacramento, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group. Only around 75%. And the first one drops. Milwaukee making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. Sacramento also making some changes. Kate is checked in. And it's Bruce Brown in for Murray. He's perfect from the line this time. 51 seconds left to play in the third. Out of bounds. Sacramento will take possession. Sacramento ball. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for the Kings. The Kings trail by 18. Mitchell is double. Beyond the arc. It doesn't go for him. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. Martin inside. He's covered by Matt. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got nine points here in the second half. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. To the middle. Here's Mack. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. That's a guy you want taking shots, a quality offensive player. Knocked loose, taken away by Williams. Three on three. Here's Matt, and he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Williams. Oh, nice there, getting the reverse. Love that, and, and the fans got a little show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. And so it's Milwaukee. Holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back to the action in just a minute. With the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. 
Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league. And so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. At the guard positions, Holiday and DiVincenzo. Martin is out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Giannis in at the small forward position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Pass to Herter. DiVincenzo against Williams. To the inside. Here's Murray. And the rebound goes to Lopez. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. And it's Martin missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. And the foul the called on MP. Martin. And that'll be his third foul so far. Richard, 2004 was the last time that the NBA expanded. Now, some say Seattle and maybe Las Vegas could before long have teams of their own. What do you think? Oh, please give me Seattle back. Please give me Vegas back. Do you know what I would give to have those two cities back in our league and to have to travel to them? Look, but you must have deep pockets. Let's be honest with yourself. The franchises now are selling for over $3 billion. You got to think that the expansion fee will at least be that much her team Murray. and it's Murray with the jam Assistant. and guys he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights never has been never will be he is a determined finisher and so it's holiday with it he'll bring it up for Milwaukee they'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. that sets off a five-game tour for him as they set their sights on locking up the win he has to do everything in his power to make this happen and there's Murray on the assist by Fox. 21 points for Keegan Murray. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Martin for three, and again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. Fox dishes to Mitchell. Murray against DiVincenzo. And that one is stuffed right through. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Martin from outside. And, yep, another basket. Another 50-point game from him. And he is now third in the record books for most 50-point games in a season. You know, G.A., you can't deny the greatness we've seen from him all year long. He has performed at the highest level Game in and game out. His play this season has moved him past Kobe. Yes, Kobe Bean Bryant for most 50-point games in a season. I can still remember that incredible 2007 year for Kobe, and that has been bested. Martin from outside, and again Milwaukee with the triple. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. And for a while there, Greg, it seemed like we were entering the super team era. But lately, homegrown talent, players you draft and develop or sign and develop, seems to be the way teams are going. Yeah, and it's not easy to maintain a culture when you're bringing in stars from outside. We've seen some cautionary examples here of late. And it's Milwaukee's ball. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Milwaukee. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so checking out their record tonight, that'll mark win number 32 overall. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Martin. And I love his tenacity at the defensive end on the floor. Very disruptive all game long. Hartenstein passes to Mitchell. 
Now here's Herter. Defended by Middleton. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Herter. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. It's tipped. Outside, Mark. There's the triple. He can't hit that time. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you later. out there doing work. We're in for a fast-paced game today, it seems. These teams like to get out on the break and run as much as possible, Grant. Hey, B.A., get... Substitution on the court. Shooting for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton. One shot. Taking a look at the Bucks. Brooke Lopez is out there with MP. Then it's Chris Middleton. Then there's Derrick Rose. For Utah, new ownership taking over in 2020. In addition to that group, NBA legend D-Wade. Great to see an ex flair get a piece of the pie. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. And the shot goes. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Outside White. Back to Hayward. After the outside. Let's it fly. Rebound Milwaukee. Well, like D-Wade and Utah, Smith, do you think there'll be more former players getting some equity in teams? B.A., absolutely. I think it'd be great for the game. That's one of the biggest pieces of the equality puzzle, having more owners with different backgrounds and experiences. They grab their own miss. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. 
Here's Middleton. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Middleton's got seven points in the game. Yeah, that's butter. I mean, Middleton with one of the smoothest jump shots in the league. Good on the shot. That's nice work stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Martin with the bucket. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Utah has gone just one of six from downtown. Pass to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Outside White. And Martin comes to help. Good chance here for Hayward. Rose grabs the board. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. One to the line for one. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Rubio's checked in. At the line for one. For Utah, they've gone 7 of 16 so far. Pass to White. Wide open look. And there it is for him. Kobe White doesn't need much time or space to get off that catch and shoot. From deep, MP. Good! Without a second to spare. Oh, you got to have some real nerves to hit that shot. Coaches always talk about closing quarter strong. Can't do it much better than that. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. They've also been consistently getting themselves to the line tonight, picking up plenty of points off free throws. On the court right now for the Bucks, we've got Dante DiVincenzo. MP is out there with DeMarcus Cousins. Then it's Giannis Antetokounmpo, and it's Allen in at the two. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Abaji. The three-pointer off the mark. Milwaukee has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. The three, DiVincenzo gets the three to fall. DiVincenzo's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. To the wing on the left. Here's Kerr, checked by Cousins. And a strong finish with two hands. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Kings played some superb basketball. He contributed 62 points and also did a lot of damage from long. He put up significant numbers. So the question becomes, can he do it again? Well, it'll be interesting to see how much of that performance carries over into this one. His goal is to provide whatever the team needs from him on that particular evening. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. Both teams deciding to change it up. Milwaukee has gone six of nine from three-point range. Who's watching here? A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Hits a three-pointer. Martin's got 17 points. 
They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Curve. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Sky high. One of his advantages as a undersized four. We've seen a lot of coaches make the transition from college to the NBA. Smitty, what are the biggest challenges? Substitution on the court. One forty-six left to play in the half. Hey, hey, right here. Right here. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. Jazz ball. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Utah has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. To the middle. And that one's good. Green. He's got six. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. And here's MP from outside. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Through the years, Carmelo Anthony has remained consistent. Still knocking down shots and making it look easy. Carmelo Anthony, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Anthony. Well, for everything he's won on the court, Carmelo Anthony earned a new award in 2021, Smitty. B.A., it was a special award. He's the first ever winner of the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Champion Award. And I know that is very, very important to Carmelo. Rubio's checked in for Utah. And that's good as he hits both shots. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. It's Martin on the wing. Green covering. Martin misses. For Utah, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. And it's Green missing. And for the Bucks, they're shooting 47% so far in the second. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. They get it again. Anadokounmpo. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Bucks lead by 14. The reach of Giannis really helps out here, allowing him to beat out the defense and win a second-chance shot. Pass to Anthony. Here's Hayward. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. He takes it in over Middleton. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks, a sizable lead of 14 at the break. They're showing impressive focus out there, and it's paying off big on both ends of the floor. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive. If we look for Milwaukee, Martin comes in for Chris Middleton, and it's Allen in for Holiday. Into the third. Two minutes in now. It's Martin on the wing. He's got 22. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. And for the Bucks, MP is out there with Brooke Lopez. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. Then there's Grayson Allen. And it's Anna DeCumpo in at the three. 
And out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Hayward, he's checked in for Utah. Gordon Hayward. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Kerr. Here's Abaji. The three is up. The Jazz again can't hit. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Martin with the bucket. Continuing to stoke the fire. His shot making has been absolutely superb. He's guarded by Martin. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Offensive rebound. For Milwaukee, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second half. All right, time for an injury report. All right, let's find out the news on Bobby Portis. Allie, what's going on? Guys, I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer for the Bucks about his status. He shared with me that it is a knee sprain, so a sense of relief that even though there's a lot of pain involved, he avoided something more serious. And for a team with eyes on a championship, this injury could have serious implications. We will see how it affects them. Well, we appreciate it, Allie. Hoping to see him back on the court soon, guys. They really hope to have him back, but it's so crucial that he's healthy when he returns. Martin with the bucket. 116 left to play in the third quarter. Pass to Abaji. To the inside. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. DiVincenzo finds Lopez. Here is DiVincenzo. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Both teams will make substitutions. Substitution on the court. For Utah, they've gotten seven of 14 attempts to fall in the half. DiVincenzo against Rubio to the paint. Kerr. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Martin outside. From downtown, he buries it from three. Martin's got 32 points in the game. How about his aggressiveness from three? He caught fire in the first half. Now hits his second one since the break. He's a bad, bad man. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. From behind the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Kerr. Baseline jumper. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Martin outside. Shoots over Hayward. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. And then... And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. Here for Utah. Martin, he's checked in for the Bucks. Connaughton comes in for Allen. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. And also, attacking in transition has been working for them. I mean, we credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Bucks. Man, they were in a groove from long range tonight. Yeah, they were able to find space, and they were ready to let it fly the moment they saw an opening.
And they're getting ready to notch their 33rd win of the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Drew Holiday. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. And for the Bucks, Derrick Rose is out there with Pat Connaughton. Then it's DeMarcus Cousins, then it's MP, and it's Green in at the three. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Markinen. Here's Kerr, green covering, and there's a three second violation. When you're trying to cut into a lead, you can't afford that kind of mistake. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Connaughton finds Martin. Hey, hey, hey. Let's it go from the wing. Offline. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.